A great way to get ready for skiing is to go inline skating. That's something that you can do at home and practice anytime you want. When you first get your skates, you'll want to check to make sure that the wheels are snug using the wrench that's provided. When you're choosing skates, you should get a size that's snug, pretty tight. You don't want it to hurt, but you want your skates to be pretty tight. And when you put them on, lace them up tightly and buckle the buckles so that they're snug because you don't want your foot to be moving around with any sloppy space inside the boot. And when you're skating, it's a good idea to use wrist guards, helmet, and pads for safety. You can try it inside if you've got a surface like this. This is a foam pad for carpeting. Those surfaces like that will make it so that your skates don't slide as easily. It'll feel more like walking and be less of a surprise with how much you slide it's easier to slow down and stop when you're on a surface like this rather than on concrete or asphalt like outside. When you get outside, one thing you can do is find a place like on grass or here I'm on an artificial turf surface and that makes it so that I don't slide as easily too. And I'm practicing stepping sideways and hopping, get a little bit of striding motion just to see how it feels. And that surface makes it so that it's harder to get going, but a lot easier to stop. So it's a good way to get the feeling like here going backwards a little bit just to experiment with those motions. Here I'm on a playground and it's got a rubberized safety surface so that's the same kind of thing. It makes it so I don't slide as quickly and this playground even has a little hill on it and I'm sidestepping up the hill and sliding down. That sidestepping is something that you'll learn when you start learning how to ski. Very handy for getting up hills and sometimes down. Sidestep side up to that hill and sidestep up. Another thing that you'll learn when you're skiing is how to get up hill with herringbone or duck walk. Okay. Practice moving around on that rubberized surface and then I'm going to step over to the paving bricks, stepping carefully because it'll feel different. And here I'm practicing on some smooth asphalt and I've got a fence on the side so I can hold on to it if I need to. Get going on my skates. Going pretty slowly, step around a turn, getting used to the motion. There's a little bit of slalom turning, kind of looks like skiing. Getting used to it, pick up speed. Feel, feels like to slow down on the skates. Here I'm on a bike path and pedestrian path that's wide enough to practice going in circles, both directions in circles. And I'll be headed up a little hill. When you first try hills, take it easy. Don't go too far up. It might be kind of surprising how much speed you pick up and also choose a place that has a flat 
run out so that you can gradually slow down if you want to. Go up the hill, and at the bottom of the hill, if I wanted to, I could just go straight and then very gradually slow down. That was fun, so I'm going to go up higher this time. And I'll do some slalom turns, and you'll see how those fit in very well with further videos on skating to ski on the YouTube channel with Jayski. Thanks everybody. Enjoy learning how to skate to ski.